You're listening to Create Wealth Through Franchising, and I'm your host, Kim Daly. In my 20 years as a franchise consultant, I've helped hundreds of people achieve their dreams of building and scaling franchise businesses to create wealth. The interview you're about to hear can also be found on my YouTube channel, where I post new franchising content multiple times per week. Please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and to my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Daily Coach YouTube channel. I have a very special guest with me today. A longtime friend. His name is Dave Pazgan. Dave, welcome to Kim Daily TV. Hi, Kim. Good to see you. Thanks for inviting me. In all the years we've known each other, did you ever think that I'd have my own TV channel? <laughs> yeah, it's not a big surprise <laughs> to me at all. <laughs> quite honestly. Why, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm very happy to introduce you to my followers today. So Dave has a very long history in developing franchises very successfully. He has recently um, become the CEO and partner to a very young company that started out as he was just telling me a very strong entrepreneurial concept, a woman who was trying to franchise her business on her own, but without knowledge of how to build a strong franchise system really wasn't getting anywhere very quickly. And Dave came in with his cape on the back and now he's bringing Kiddo Kinetics to market. So he is here to share the value proposition of an entrepreneurial concept that's strong and sound on its own, being partnered with a back-end engine of a strong franchisor who understands how to build a franchise system. So tell us a little bit about how you found Terry and Kiddo Kinetics and what was going on in your company and why you saw an opportunity with this franchise called Kiddo Kinetics. Yeah, sure. So. For about 11 years, I was running a uh, franchise company uh, called 101 Mobility that I had co-founded and uh, built that company up to about uh, $100 million of system-wide sales. And after we had uh, sold that company to private equity, I ended up leaving a couple of years ago and just started looking for another uh, franchise organization to either start up or get involved in uh, just something new and entrepreneurial. And so Frank Milner, who's the president and CEO of a company called Tudor Doctor, a tutoring franchise, he's a good friend of mine. And he introduced- Small little company called the Tudor Doctor, Mr. Yeah. Frank Milner. Exactly. <laughs> um, oh, great, Frank Milner. <laughs> yep, that's right. So Frank had uh, uh, known Terry, uh, the founder of Kiddo Kinetics, for a few years. Their connection was they had met at IFA a couple of times, and uh, they're actually both originally from South Africa. And so that was kind of how they got together and got to know each other. And so right after I had uh, left 101, uh, Frank kind of brought that to me and said, hey, I think there's something, this is one you ought to look at. Um, Terry's great, she's got a really good business, but she's trying to do it all by herself. And there's a, a really strong fundamental business opportunity here uh, for a really great program. So I met with Terry at um, IFA in 2019, right before the, or 2020, I mean, right before the, the pandemic. And we, uh, we really hit it off. Like I immediately was really fascinated with her passion for the business and very much a mission-driven organization. Um, and it felt like a really good fit for me just fundamentally because in part, uh, my educational background was actually in health education. So I had uh, gotten a degree in, in health ed and exercise science. And so I hadn't really worked in that field much in my career. And this was an opportunity to sort of get back to those original roots. Busy building a $100 million company and mobility products. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> just throw that in, guys. <laughs> so uh, this was an opportunity to sort of get back to my roots. And, and what she was really doing as a company, I thought was really important uh, just for us as a society, because, you know, she's teaching really young kids somewhere usually between two and eight, um, the fundamentals of exercise, fitness and sports. And I think a lot of people are concerned uh, these days about young people not getting enough opportunities to learn about these things. Uh, the programs in schools have been limited. Uh, you know, kids spend way too much time on screens these days. Uh, you know, one out of five children is clinically obese these days. So, you know, there's a lot of concern around that. And I felt like Kiddo Kinetics was an opportunity to, you know, bring, bring something to market that not only is a good fundamental business, but actually does some real good in the world. Uh, so after that, we kind of hit it off immediately. And I spent some time with her in South Florida and, reviewed her business. I went out and looked, watched some classes. We looked at her financials. 
I called and talked to all of her franchises. She had three franchise locations at the time, and I spoke to all of them, and I got really comfortable with it. I also felt like, you know, there's other participants in the marketplace. Uh, I happen to be good friends with one of our competitors, a company called Soccer Shots. The president and CEO of that company is a good friend of mine. And so Soccer Shots was an example to me of what Kiddo Kinetics could look like at scale at about 150 locations around the country. Um, so I felt confident that there was a big market opportunity out there and that Kiddo Kinetics had the right bones that we could use to sort of build uh, a, a really well-organized and, and distributed uh, franchise company throughout the country. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if this franchise sounds like a fit for you, I would love to be your Daily Coach. Email me right now for a totally free consultation at inquire at kimdaily.tv. It's so funny, Dave, do you know any other industry where competitors are friends? Not really. <laughs> like no. This I mean, is it's, the it's, nature it's, of franchising. Everybody watching this video, if you're coming from corporate America, we hope you find it refreshing to hear that, you know, Dave is friends with Justin and he's, you know, he, he's building soccer shots and now Dave's building um, Kiddo Kinetics and yeah, right. they, they do something different, but it's kind of the same market and yet they can learn from each other and grow from each other and it makes all of us stronger and better. Like that's what franchising is. It's really exciting. Yeah. I mean, when this opportunity came up, that was one of the first, you know, conversations I had with Justin because... I know him so well. And I said, you know, I, I, I want you to be comfortable with this and not feel like this is a conflict because we, you know, meet pretty regularly. And uh, he said, no, we, you know, we both come from an abundance mentality. There's a lot of market opportunity out there. Um, we actually see ourselves as not being mutually exclusive. We're more complimentary than anything. So, um, so he was completely open with it. And uh, we actually have, you know, shared some best practices and some other data between the two of us. And actually recently also met the, the uh, CEO of another competitor called Skyhawk Sports. And uh, we have some time on the calendar now to just compare notes and talk a little bit about our businesses. So I think you're right. I think it's pretty rare, uh, but it happens a lot in franchising where companies who are literally direct competitors as franchisors will, you know, know each other, talk to each other, maybe share some best practices and, you know, try to, to the extent possible, work together as opposed to against each other. It's the abundant mindset. I love it. Well said, Dave. So what exactly is the offering of Kiddo Kinetics to the end user? We'll come back to the franchise in a minute. Sure. So most of our business, about 90% of our revenue is generated with institutional accounts, primarily private schools, uh, daycares, preschools, and Montessori schools. And what we do there is we go in and we offer basically two different kinds of programs. Um, the first one would be where we teach PE classes uh, and that's paid for by the school. So a lot of these private schools, they don't have enough enrollment to justify having a full-time PE teacher. Uh, and it's difficult for them to staff a position that might only work six or eight hours a week. And so, and then the other teachers of the other subjects generally don't want to teach PE because they don't feel like they're properly trained for that or they're not really comfortable with it. And so that's where we come in. So we come into private schools and daycares and preschools, and we'll do, you know, usually anywhere from three to six hours a week of PE classes in those schools taught by us. We bring all of the equipment. We write the curriculum. It's a very much plug and play solution for the school. And so it makes it really easy for them to lean on us for their PE you know, challenge that they have to solve. And right now, a lot of these schools are really struggling with staffing as you know, a lot of industries are. And so even more so today, um, we offer a really valuable service where they just, you know, when it comes to the PE classes, they just don't have to worry about it. Kiddo Connects just takes care of everything. And then the other uh, offering that we have in these institutions is our enrichment program, which is usually parent paid. And so in those cases, then uh, students whose parents sign them up will break out of the regular class and join a kiddo kinetics class, usually one time a week for 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, and we put them through a, an enrichment program where we offer or we teach a different sport every week. So we're usually in there for uh, 10 weeks at a time. And every week we come in and teach a different sport. So that's kind of fundamentally what we do. The other 10% of our revenue uh, that's not institutional is, you know, working with just individual families and their kids or uh, private classes, uh, or we do like, you know, birthday parties and field days and other events along those lines. So from the franchisee candidate perspective, then, are you a gym teacher, Dave Pascan? Is that what you're looking for? No, not really. I mean, we're looking for, you know, people that are entrepreneurial minded and have good leadership skills. Um, we want our owners to be, you know, running the business, not teaching classes. 
And that doesn't mean that an owner is not going to teach a class from time to time. But uh, for the most part, we're really looking for uh, people with good leadership skills. They can delegate effectively. They're going to build a team of coaches that are out teaching the classes and um, good, you know, some some sales skills, right? Like we need them to get out and go talk to these institutions and meet with the administrators and start to build those relationships. And so relationship development skills, it's not a very hard sell. Um, you know, the people that we talk to generally know what we do and, and are interested in what we do. So it's really not, you don't get a lot of doors slammed in your face, quite honestly. It's really a pretty easy sell, but it does take some, you know, diligence and follow-up to make sure these accounts kind of come through. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're inspired by this conversation, I invite you to email me right now to explore this franchise opportunity. My email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. If you've seen other videos on my channel about home-based businesses, you know that home-based doesn't mean you're working from home necessarily. It means I don't have to take on the overhead of a location because I'm mobile. I'm going out and doing business where my customers are. You're bringing the physical education into the school. Therefore, you don't need the big fixed expense with the high rent, right? And all that goes into that. And that's what enables this to be a low investment and to have those low fixed costs. So it's awesome. And then on the flip side of that, Dave, it comes more with what I would call like unlimited earning potential, right? Because you can keep growing and growing and growing to the number of schools um, and facilities in your area versus if you had that set location where you have to wait for people to come to you and right. you sort of cap out, right? Because you only are going to pull from about a three to a five mile radius around your store, depending on what your offering is, correct? Yeah, that's right. I think it's really easy to understand how the business scales. Um, you know, we, we generate revenue at these accounts. Uh, and so then it's just a matter of taking, you know, how many, how much revenue do you want to generate in a year? Divide that by the average, you know, annual revenue we get at a school or a daycare. And that that's how many accounts that you need. And these are very strong recurring revenue opportunities. So once we start working with the school, we almost never lose the school. Like we keep working with them year after year after year. And of course, they have new kids coming in every year. So we have a new, uh, you know, group of kids that we work with every every uh, semester and every year. And like Terry, the founder in South Florida, when she started there, she's got schools that she's worked with now for 18, 19 years. And, you know, these are accounts that we developed a long time ago. So uh, so that's how it's kind of easy to scale. You just go out and find these accounts and work with them and get a program set up. And you'll typically run those programs all year round and year after year. Home-based, low investment, low fixed cost, reoccurring revenue. I mean, you're hitting all the daily coach hot buttons on this one, Dave. <laughs> okay, so let's wrap this up, but let's go back to, I think, just the point I want to stress really and most importantly is your extensive background and understanding of franchising and working with franchisees and why you decided to make this your next venture. Sure. So it looked, it felt to me like a really great market opportunity, a mission driven organization that I felt like I wanted to be a part of and, and could really add some value. And it was like a, a bit of a blank slate. Like there was a lot of opportunity to develop systems and support and infrastructure and kind of do it right from the start. And so over the last year and a half that I've been working with Terry, the founder, um, that's been the bulk of what of the time that we've spent is uh, we built an enterprise system that our franchises now use to run their businesses day to day. Uh, we built out extensive training and support programs. We just completed a, a very detailed sales and marketing playbook and a launch plan. Um, we've hired a couple of people in our home office to support franchises and onboarding and field support as they get out in the marketplace and start growing their businesses. And so um, it was really a good opportunity to not have to deal with a lot of uh, legacy problems. Like they just didn't really have that. So we could start from scratch, build something fresh and new. And uh, that, you know, took some time and some resources, but we're really at the point now where all of that's in place. And so now we're really looking to scale the business pretty quickly. And so we've gone from five franchise territories when I met Terry to uh, we have 18 right now. We're closing another deal on Monday. So we'll probably have 25 or so territories uh, awarded by the end of this year. Congratulations. And so it wasn't because you just wanted to like kick Justin's butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's definitely that. Like pe people that have asked about it, I'm like, I'm coming for, I'm coming for soccer shots and we're we're sprinting right now. Like we are literally sprinting to try to catch them. So they, they I have a, love they have it. I love it. So see, guys, you know, we love each other in franchising. We learn from each other, but we're all still competitors. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's amazing, Dave. You're so great. I, I'm so thankful that you were my guest today. <laughs> 
For those of you who are inspired or interested to learn more about the Kiddo Kinetics franchise opportunity, you know that I want to be your daily coach. What we're going to do is I'm going to have you um, leave a comment below or you can reach directly out to me via the email on the screen and give me the opportunity to pre-qualify you, to prepare you to meet Dave's team so that we can make sure the territories are available and that you have the skill set that he's going to be looking for in order to award the opportunity to you. Once we've done all of that and it all is a good fit, then we'll send you over to the Kiddo Kinetics team so you can begin your exploration. Dave, thanks for being my special guest today on Kim Daily TV. Yeah, thanks so much. And just for benefit of your listeners, um, you know, Kim is the best in the, in the business. She's, there's nobody like her out there. And if you choose to work with her, you're in really good hands. And so, uh, yeah, you, you should feel confident with the advice that she gives you. That's awesome. Thank you so much for saying that. I didn't pay him to say that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And until next time, I am Kim Daly, and I want to be your daily coach. If you found this inspiring, please contact me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My consulting services are totally free to you. Again, that email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. I can't wait to hear from you.